Thanks. Now to a story you'll see only here on News 5. Tucked away in one corner of downtown Colorado Springs, you can find an insect taxidermist hard at work crafting ethically sourced, fascinating pieces of natural art. Our own John McMichael has that story. What's the official term? Is it into taxidermy? I'm um, playing with dead things. Um. Playing with dead things. <laughs> Got it. Enthralled with everything from butterflies to moths, spiders, and more, Andrew Cronk spends his days making art with insects. Is there a day that you just woke up and said, you know what? This. It wasn't a day, it was I was that kid that never got out of the bugs phase. And years spent working in and around garden centers helped him foster that phase even more. Now I own a shop full of dead bugs. And some live ones. Semi spooky, full on interesting, and years in the making. I can't make my house look like the Adams family, but I can make my shop look like the Adams family. This space is around to celebrate the joy of the art and aid with the education of others and conservation of bugs. That's that's been the goal behind all of this from the beginning. Was if somebody buys this, then they're probably going to ask questions on where it comes from. They're probably going to ask questions on um, how long they live or where they live or what they can do to attract some of these things into their yards. So the idea was and is to get people talking. Conservation led by conversation. And if you get them talking, then they start listening to what you have to say, hopefully. And that listening is something Andrew hopes will lead folks to self-led research, or maybe even a trip to see something in its natural habitat. And the second you see a, a cloud of butterflies flying around, it's game over. <laughs> but game over in the most positive way. Next thing you know, you have butterflies flying all around downtown Colorado Springs. And that's been a long time goal. Andrew hoping to, at some point, open a butterfly pavilion here in the Springs. People can come and see these things alive and moving and appreciate them. Is that the dream? More butterflies, more pollinators, more mm -hmm. everything around. It's always gonna be more bugs. <laughs> in Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5.